Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. So today we are going to be doing an Old Navy haul. Old Navy and I are not friends. We never have been friends. Even when I was thin and I was a size 8, we were not friends because I could never fit in their jeans or their pants. I could never fit in them. And you know, back then I was like, I am a size 8, I am not a size 10 or a size 12, so any size 8s that didn't fit, your girl wasn't, your girl wasn't going up a size. Now obviously, I will go up a size and it's like a thing or whatever, it's like okay, no big deal. But yeah, I just, I've never really found Old Navy to be my style, um, I don't know. And I found a couple of things. We're gonna try on four different pair of jeans. I've heard great things about their Rockstar jeans. So we're gonna try some of those on. I've got some really cute spring dresses and another like plaid dress and then another shirt. This shirt is just not a fan. But I'm gonna go ahead and step back and we'll get started on with the haul. I'm not exactly sure how much I spent on these things. I know that when I was buying um, everything that the Rockstar jeans were on sale. So I think I got them each for like either $20 or $25 a piece. So that was really good. Um, I think that was like half off because that's another thing about Old Navy is that they can be pretty pricey and I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I have some things from Old Navy so it's not like I never am and just like, oh no, I will never shop there. Um, I have some things from there, like especially workout clothes and stuff like that, but for the most part, I really don't shop there. But we're going to go ahead and get into this haul because I know a lot of you do love Old Navy. I think that Old Navy is more geared towards women who are looking for good basics, um, professional settings, some of their stuff, a more preppy kind of look. Um, definitely wouldn't go in there if you're looking for something sexy or like overly trendy. Um, definitely Old Navy is not that place to go and I feel like they're better suited for apple shapes than they are more hourglass pair, bigger on the bottom, smaller up top type shapes. So without further ado, I will go ahead and step back and show you the jeans and this moo moo looking shirt. Okay, this shirt, first of all, is too big. I got it in a size 4X because that was the only size that they had. Obviously, I would need to do a 3X because it is just entirely too big. And it, to me, it really does look like, like, moo-moo-ish. I don't know. Um, it does have a lot of layers to it. I feel like it's got a lot of fabric. I think it's good for the spring coming up. Um, it's not like a super stretchy material. It does have some stretch. To it. Well, it's more so that this is like stretchy right here. So this being stretchy allows this to be stretchy, but the material itself is not stretchy at all. But there are some components that allow it to be a little more stretchy. So, I mean, this shirt is just, it's entirely too big. I don't, I don't even know, can't really talk much about it. Um, yeah, these Rockstar jeans are ankle length, super skinny, what else did they say? High rise, high rise, super skinny rock star jeans, ankle length. So I got a size 24 in the shorts. And the thing that I don't like about them is that they're not super skinny or maybe they're just, I don't know, they flare out too much in the back. And you can see better when I stand to the back or turn around. Do you guys see how they kind of flare out? I don't like that. No, if you're going to be a super skinny, you need to be a super skinny and you're not, you don't need to flare out. So I don't like that about these jeans. Um, another thing I don't like about these jeans is that they are not high rise on me. That is not high rise at all. Like high rise should be up here. But again, I just don't think that Old Navy makes their jeans to, I don't know. I just don't think that they make them for big for big booties. Like I just don't. Um, this is where it goes up as far as like the high riseness um, here. I have a pair that's like mid rise. <laughs> those are a little. I'm a little worried about how those are gonna go. But other than that, I think they feel great. They look great. I just don't like the fact because I already know the minute I sit down, see look. The minute I sit down, this goes down, and then 
underwear shows and no like I just I don't like that look um so so far not a huge fan of the rockstar jeans on my body type but I know people love them some rockstar jeans so no shade or anything like that I just don't think that these are working for my body type okay so this shirt right here is a size 3x um it doesn't have a whole well it has a little bit of stretch to it not a whole lot um we have lots of room left in it so good sizing i love the up part of it the strapless and then how it kind of gets a little skinnier right here um the print definitely isn't so much my style but it's it's okay it has this little keyhole thing in the back and i know people say all the time why do you get stuff that's not your style well i do these hauls for you guys too you know so just because something is not my style it might be your style and you'd be like oh that looks great on her or i really like that it's my style so yeah anyways these are the pop icon Rockstar skinny jeans. I got these in a size 24 short and for them to be short I'm like, why are we still dealing with some um, Scrunching up down at the bottom. It's not that they're bad. They're not really that bad But I don't like again how in the back they're not super skinny They kind of flare out a little bit and again, that's not my favorite look also we are like it's super low like you know sit down and you're showing even more of your underwear um they don't have like any like gapping or anything like that they just go down further because again i don't feel that old navy makes their jeans for women with bigger booties because if it it's great up here um and it goes up past my belly button and it's a great um rise but you get to the back and it slopes down so I mean other than that they're I think they're a great color I love the distressing on the knee um, I am noticing as I'm like lifting up my leg right here in the thigh there is a little bit of tightness so it's not as stretchy as I would like for them to be um, especially with me going up to a size 24 because I usually get my jeans in a size 22 and when I go up to a 24 I noticed that they're definitely like more comfortable more more so great for like if I'm like having a day where I'm bloated or something like that um, but these just to be a 24 I feel like I would need to go up to a 26 and that's going up like two sizes and then I'll probably have issues with it not fitting right in certain places so I don't know rockstar jeans are just not coming in to be my favorite but we still have two more pairs to try on so fingers crossed this shirt I'm not going to spend too much time on it's a 4x it has elastic right here kind of peplum definitely too big on me it's a wrap and I like the fact that it's actually like a wrap but it kind of goes up higher I wish it didn't go up as high like maybe like right here would have been a little more flattering um, this is just not, it's not me. Um, these jeans are mid-rise, super skinny. These are a thinner material than the other two that I've tried on. They fit better, but like with the other ones, I'm still having the issue. They're saying they're super skinny, but yet they're still flaring out. And they're not up against my ankle, you know what I'm saying? These are size 24 short. Um, these don't dip down as much and another thing that I noticed with trying on these jeans is that they really aren't doing anything for my butt they're really not doing anything for my butt so yeah we're just gonna move on we have one more pair of jeans to try on and then we have some dresses so hopefully we'll have some better luck with the dresses now these jeans this is what I'm talking about they're the rock stars super skinny or maybe they're just skinnies I don't know but they fit amazing they have the actual like you know how torrid bombshell jeans have that stretchy elastic on the inside of the waistband these have that as well which I just love so much 
These don't dip it down too much. They stay exactly where they do in the front as they do in the back. Um, they don't go down too far. Um, so yeah, they also are actually not flared at the bottom, which I love. These really good pair of jeans. Fit me to perfection. They are stretchy. They feel good. They feel really good. And then what's up with the pocket? The pocket is like mesh. Oh, that's weird. Huh. That's interesting. Oh. Okay, so on the thing I said, I saw that they said warm. Well, there goes that. <laughs> they have like a, I don't know if it's fleece or what it is, but they have like an extra layer of something so they can keep you warmer in the winter. Well, y'all, I don't know if you noticed, but the South has been like, like we have been in the 70s this week. These are not gonna work for me, which is such a bummer because they fit so good, they fit so good. But yeah, they have some extra layer out. When I try on the dress, um, one of the dresses, I'll come back out and show you the inside. Bummer! Oh wow. Okay, so these were the Rockstar Super Skinny High Rise built in warm. So see the how the waistband is stretchy like they are in the Torah jeans. These are the pockets. And then this is the material that's on the inside. So yeah. Kind of like that almost felt like material. That's such a bummer. It really is. I honestly don't even need built in warm jeans. I obviously didn't see that when I was shopping, but I, I don't need that even in the, um, what's it called? Oh, even in the winter here because it really hasn't been getting that cold. Okay. This right here, it's a nice dress. I was looking in the mirror though and I was like, that would drive me insane. I don't know why they did that. Do you guys see how the plaid doesn't match up? Like the, the lines? Why they did that, I don't know. But, I mean, it's a good dress. It's a size 3X, um, fits good right here. It is like a little loose right here but it doesn't go down to show my bra. Just a good, classic, basic dress. I think would be great for the office. I just, that would drive me a little insane, but other than that, it's good. Who's ready for the spring? This is a very, very, very flattering dress. I love Love the color. Um, it has spaghetti straps, which are actually like a little thicker than spaghetti straps. I'd like to call these linguine straps. <laughs> fettuccine. Fettuccine, because linguine is fettuccine straps. Okay, we have the um, adjustable straps, which I like. I like. I love the neckline. I love the fact that it has elastic in the back. So right here, it's stretchy, but then you also don't have any issues with it being too big right here with the arms or going down too low. This is a very, very, very flattering dress. Um, yeah, it goes down to a really great length. Um, I can see this being a great dress for many different occasions from, why am I thinking prom right now? <laughs> From the office with a sweater over it, to church, to a date, to just going out anywhere. Like this is one of those dresses that will literally take you anywhere and you don't feel like you're too dressed up. Especially like in the summer when you want something light or in the spring when you want something light. You throw on some cute sandals and you can just go walk around the park with your little book. I mean it's so, so cute. I love this a lot. So. 
Yes. This is a 4X. This is entirely too big for me and it is just not flattering on me at all. Um, but I will talk about specifics on this. It has the elastic right here. It has the little strap. It's adjustable. It's also elastic right here. So I guess if you wanted to, you can wear it off the shoulder or on the shoulder. You have this little crochet um, little piece of fabric right here. And it is also elastic, like all up top is elastic basically. Goes down too low, like I said, it's, it's too big on me. Um, and then you have the elastic right here so you can kind of like blouse it out. Um, it is double lined, so I didn't see it being super see-through. I can't really tell, I don't think it is. It, yeah, this is definitely not me, it's too big and it's not that flattering. But um, I do think it would look much better, um, kind of belted, and then of course bloused. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be, it's bloused like this. If you wear it like this, yeah, no. <laughs> so, wear it like that, and it looks better. Last but not least is this dress. It's the same style as the black one, only as you can see, different colors. Has the adjustable straps, elastic in the back. Like I said, same exact style in everything. It's just different colors. I really, really do like this dress a lot. I think, again, it's very flattering. Um, and it's a good one. It's a really good one. Okay, final thoughts on Old Navy. They've got some good things because we found these two dresses and they are amazing. Everything else was just no. The jeans just not for me. I don't think that they make their pants or their jeans for women with butts and hips and thighs. I think they make them for women that are more of an apple shape. Shirts I wasn't really wowed with. The plaid dress was good. This dress obviously and the black dress was really good. I really like that and I wasn't a big fan of the ivory dress as well. Um, but like I said, I'm not a big fan of Old Navy. Um, I basically did this haul for you guys. I also did want to try out the jeans by going up another size. I wish I would have ordered a pair in a size 26 to see how those would have fit me. Um, but you know, it is what it is. I'm not the hugest fan, but it's not a place where I'm like, ew, Old Navy, I won't ever go in there and shop. I will go in and I will get some things here and there, um, especially workout clothes. Um, I think that's probably what I own the most of, but yeah. That's really all I have to say. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you are new here or if you haven't subscribed and you just watched my videos. I would love if you would subscribe. By the way, thank you guys so, so much for 50,000. I hit it last week and I was so sick I couldn't even be all like, woo, but I was internally like, woo, but I was, I was really sick last week um, and still kind of fighting it this week. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Um, I will see you guys in the next one. If that's that's another reason, if I if I sound out of breath, it's because I'm congested and little and I'm like sweating when I shouldn't be because I'm like I guess sweating out this cold. I don't know. I don't have a fever or anything. I'm just very clammy and. Anyways, love you guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye.